we've all gathered here to celebrate the launch of the best-selling book, which is 100 Performing CEOs and Companies of Pakistan. Is work to me is that CEO Majood hai. He has unka bhi jo case study hai, unki jo success story ka nichor hai that has also been featured in this book. Let's welcome the CEO of BioLabs, Usman Shaukat. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? मुझे बहुत मजा आ रहा है आज इस पॉडकास्ट को होस्ट करने में बिकॉज आई एम लर्निंग अ लॉट अबाउट द लीडरशिप द सक्सेस स्टोरीज मैंने पढ़ा है बुक में लोगों की डिफरेंट स्टोरीज इतना कुछ है उस बुक के अंदर कि यू नो मैन यू गैरेंट यू इट आपका दिल नहीं चाहता कि आप छोड़ें उसको चल मी अबाउट योर लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस आपकी जिंदगी का निचोड़ क्या है अगर आप उसको दो लफ्जों में बयान करना चाहें तो जी आई वुड से डेडिकेशन एंड कमिटमेंट टू वर्ड यू है my uh, background uh, like i mentioned earlier uh, was an investment banker yes. was in the the us for a long time uh, and then left all my banking life in new york came back to pakistan in 2005 mm. to join the pharmaceutical group and since then haven't looked back mashallah we're exporting to about 30 countries now we're in the top 50 pharma companies of pakistan uh, we are uh, uh, manufacturing almost 200 plus products and exporting globally to africa the middle east far east as well as central asian regions wow. अच्छा पाकिस्तान से बाहर भी रहे कई साल पाकिस्तान आए व्हाट चैलेंजेस दैट यू इनिशियली फेस और मेबी स्टिल स्टिल फेसिंग आर दे एनी चैलेंजेस यस 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 इंडीड कमिंग कमिंग फ्रॉम द यूएस एंड द अमेरिकन वर्क एथिक आई मीन देर देर लॉट ऑफ चैलेंजेस इनिशियली स्पेशली वेन इट कम्स टू प्रोफेशनल लाइफ सोशल लाइफ बट यू नो then again there are opportunities in pakistan that you do not have abroad yeah. uh, you know uh, if you look at america or europe saturated markets uh, there is not a lot of opportunity for you to grow uh, just because there's so much competition mm. pakistan may uh, of course there are challenges mm. uh, but at the same time there's a lot of opportunity because there's a lot of vacuum mm. in a lot of industries mm. uh, people are just not filling the gaps here jo bahar bahut achhi tarah ho chuke hain every niche is is completely catered mm. but in pakistan of course uh, high risk high return mm. so that's the basics of economics mm. and and i think uh, the opportunity is immense over here amazing it's a bio lab has been if i'm not wrong it has it has been in the industry since 30 years if i'm not wrong 30 right? years yes yes i want to know one thing kaise emotional intelligence ko balance kiya ja sakta hai because that is something which we all strive for which we all yes. go through how do you manage it eq yeah. versus iq yes. right that's that's the big uh, yeah. question these days yes. and and when i went to uh, college in america back in the 90s uh hame jab business padhaya jata tha to we would study accounting Mm. economics marketing but now eq is, is becoming a subject in all the major business schools amazing harvard has a a, a course around it mm. stress management i mean i believe if you are not able to manage stress that's a part of big part yes, of eq yes. uh, how do you control anger how do you control emotions how do you deal with people you may have a great iq yeah. but if you're not too good on the eq mm. side you know guess what you're yes. not going to be really really Because. successful a great great ceo mm. who loses his temper shouts at people cannot control his anger is not a great ceo yes. at the end of the day yes. so eq is very very important so now. how do you manage it uh stress management stress management is one of the biggest uh, uh, uh you know tools that i use usme the biggest thing that yeah. i do is that i uh, try and spend time quality time on my passions you got to have a passion you got to have passion yes you got to have passion about something other than work oh, wow. so you have work and then you have some passion so i do a lot of work charity work i do uh, you know i I'm, i'm part of a uh, lot of uh, uh, charitable organizations right. entrepreneur organization ek hamari international organization i'm a president of that amazing so fostering you know the community taking the community forward with you that is where i i sort of get my stress levels oh, managed yes we all have our canvases see yes. and he has gotten this amazing canvas and that's yes. charity yes yes wow. exactly okay, exactly about the leadership yes what is leadership according to you uh leadership according to me is being able to serve people wow. it is not about driving people mm. it is not about telling people mm. what to do it's about uh i call it servant leadership you have servant to go to leadership. servant leadership what is servant leadership servant leadership is a new concept that's coming out rather than being a boss that goes up and says do this do this do this you go to your team and you say how can i help you do your job better huh. rather than saying you didn't do this you didn't do this and you know better get this job right that was the old pyramid where the ceo sat on the top everyone was at the bottom and you gave yes. you know instructions mm. now it's sort of like go with your team members tell them that i'm sort of a servant leader to yeah. you and how can i help you do your job better amazing so that's how the teams go because you see now innovation is coming up and you need to trigger innovation in yeah. people agar aap unko dabayenge 
you don't you know you don't let the creativity come out mm. by just telling them do this do this mm. guess what their creativity is going to be suppressed mm. so you got to go to them and say hey look if we do this in one way do you have a better idea do you have a better suggestion how do we do that in the past employees were never asked they were given tasks and they were said just ye kijiye mm. and this is what you're mm. supposed to do now you go to them mm. because you know there's so much information yeah. out there that you have to let their creativity yeah. come out as so, well so you know today today's team is turn around pakistan yes. you know how to reshape the future of pakistan what is your take on this how how do you think how can we reshape the future of pakistan how see first of all i mean i am a prime example where i was was working abroad mm. living abroad mm. and came back mm. about you know 18 years ago big decision though yes <laughs> yes to contribute to this country yeah. and there was a, there was a reason there was a motivation yes. behind it because i have a, a a strong belief in this country you know 20 222 million people mm. sixth most populous country in mm. the world with a youth population i mean those are all the drivers for growth I mean we are a consumption based economy we need food yeah. we need medicines we need consumables uh if you look at the west you have aging populations yes. you know you don't have younger populations yeah. it's the younger population that'll become the middle class the mm. upper middle class and the elite tomorrow mm. so these are the people who are going to grow up so i believe there's immense potential in this country the only thing we need to do i mean by score of arm six most populous country i mean just look at the potential yes. we just need to sort of align our our objectives mm. i think we were just talking inside as well in turn not box i'm saying asan akbal yeah. mentioned that that we need to have a charter of economy i think a charter of economy is needed the most because you know what youth is getting disillusioned yeah. every time this political uncertainty guess what the 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 the, the policies change because i mean like a local investor is hesitant to invest forget foreign investors they're never going to come mm. so in this climate you have to give people continuity of policies no con- no 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 political party that comes into power should be able to change yes. the policies be it for the oil sector the pharma sector chemical sector any sector mm. so we need to have a charter of economy i think you know, it's, it's, it's to turn around a pakistan food conversation that i'm having Thank from you. you i would just like to ask you Last sure. question, and then we'll wrap up this podcast. Sure. What is the definition of a success according to you? Success to me is measured in being content. Ah. Uh, you know, success comes in various forms. Some people call money success. Yeah. Some people call title success. Yeah. Some people call you know ranking success. That my company is ranked here. But I believe that all of this is immaterial if you're not content. Right? You have to be satisfied with yourself, and that is when you feel that you're successful. So, being at peace with yourself, I believe, is, is success. I have to, you know, uh, I have to mention this that I had a great conversation with the CEO. I've learned a lot. What a beautiful energy you have, Masha. Thank you so much. You Thank know, you. Stay the same way, and I Thank wish you. you have a great day. Is that Thank right? you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much.